A420MSP, Harry here with the bookcase in the background. Everybody's a home TV studio now, although with Joe from Heartland. Joe, I actually like your background. Um, are, are you up in a, a loft or a barn? Where are you over at Heartland? I'm in the dungeon that is my, my uh, 60s style ranch home with a partially finished basement. So I've... Uh, I've made myself right at home in the uh, in these times of working from home. That uh, just made the best of the of the surroundings that I have. I was, you know, I'm a I'm a relatively uh, uh, what would you call it? I just I'm a very basic homeowner. I don't really need anything too fancy. Sure, sure. Well, hey, we're here to talk about your role in the cannabis supply chain, and it's significant. And I'm I'm glad we had the chance to meet. I I you know. We're, we were strangers who've now become friends. So what, what's your company's business model? What do you do? Well, you know, we like to refer to ourselves as problem solvers, quite honestly. Um, you know, we take a very consultative approach to technology within the supply chain, the telecom systems, the data, the terminals, the, um, and everything, the software and everything in between that drives those solutions. Um, we come in from a consultative point of view without the consultative costs, and we look at it very holistically and ethically, and we try to really just solve true problems you know, within your within your business and you know within the cannabis industry. It would really be anything from seed all the way through sale. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Now, are you a ISV, a developer, and you're developing solutions? Or are you more of a system integrator, or where where might you place yourself we would play on we play on that msp systems integrator type field what we are is when i talk about consultative you know heartland's been in the supply chain solution business since 1991. Okay. so that's really allowed us to both grow along so, i mean we we go back when our founder goes all the way back to the fight to the standardization of the upc barcode so that's late early 70s late 60s Heartland grew up with this technology, and long story short, where we fit is we've we've created an extensive network of partnerships from ISPs, from from MSPs, from uh, barcode scanning and printing data partners. We you know we would we we would consider ourselves the you know the reseller of certain products, but that's not what we focus on. It's not what we do. We solve problems. We bring all those software solutions all the, you know, we bring the integrators, we bring the ISVs, we bring the ISPs, the MSPs, we bring them together and we give you that single pane of glass and that one user experience, that one customer experience to solve all those problems. Because let's be honest, nobody has time to go out and vet five different partners to do five different things. Heartland has built an established partner network that's allowed us to essentially bring that to the table for you in a good, better, best fashion. And, you know, I don't like to call it easy button, but it really is easy button. Yeah, the um, no, that's very interesting. I, and I like the way you emphasize the consulting side. Um, I came up through the ranks back in the day as a consultant. I, I wasn't really a hardware technician, if that makes sense. So we were, um, I, I was embedded inside a large regional accounting firm back when accounting firms had technology consulting practices. So I think, I think that's kind of why you and I get along. Now, that said, and I made a big assumption there, but that said, um, <laughs> my audience of MSPs that we're bringing over to the cannabis vertical and getting, you know, let's get to cash, guys. Let's go make some money. They might Absolutely. view you as a master MSP. Is that a, a yeah. MSP and master MSP? How about that? Yeah, because, I mean, really where Heartland got its um... – where we grew up was in was in barcoding. I mean, that's where we grew up originally. And what happened was you went from the people that drove trucks and delivered beer and water and whatnot. And at the end of the day, they'd batch a device and they would download everything. And that would push to your back end systems. And you had warehouse guys doing the same thing. I do all my picks at the end of the day, we download everything in through our AS 400 and get all that, you know, you know, through the telnet sessions and whatnot, all, all taken care of. Well, as software advanced, People became more efficient, more operationally focused on efficiencies, less downtime, things like that. Our, our solutions had to grow. We, it, it forced us to grow. And that's when we started saying, well, we can't just sell hardware. You know, we can't just, you know, 
fix broken things. We have to support them. You know, the reality of it is, is when we were looking at barcoding and we created our MSP offering around rugged, rugged mobile hardware, what we realized was that there's all the data that comes into the building that those things have to use to push, push packets of info. It has to talk to a wireless network. The wireless network has to be optimized and tuned for the environment it's in. The wireless yeah. network's going to work, work a lot different in a brewery than it is a warehouse. So ideally what we did was we went out and we found all the partnerships, Harry. And yes, we are a master MSP. We bring all the solutions cumulatively, cumulatively <laughs> I can't say it together. And we, uh, you know, we just, yeah, we're a master MSP essentially is, we're going to bring the hardware, we're going to bring the software, we're going to bring the device management, we're going to bring the network, we're going to bring the data, and we're going to bring them all with the best partners and, and at the highest level of discounts and, and support. Well, and I'll end on this. I, I also think you're I, I, not necessarily selling yourself short, but I think you bring the expertise. And the reason I say sure. that is, again, my audience is uh, Joe, the computer guy who is now called an MSP. <laughs> and they are excited about this vertical. But, you know, whenever you get into a vertical, um, say you're a law firm and you want to do antitrust law, I mean, that, that, that can take several years to develop antitrust expertise and you got to hire. And, and, and so that's what you're doing is it sounds like you're accelerating my Joe, the computer guy's um, journey into the vertical. Is that fair? Mm -hmm. We would let you get we would help you get from zero to hero a lot faster um yeah. all that legwork and bandwidth that you don't have to find those partnerships let's be honest just because you talk to somebody that says they can do the job doesn't mean they can do the job so you know and we've we've taken those beatings for you the partner essentially you know 30 plus years in this space has allowed us to realize who those players are and are not and we've yeah. strategically partnered ourselves with who we feel are the best and best in breed. All right, Joe. Well, I'll tell you what, we're uh, going to give it a wrap on this sort of uh, hello world from Heartland. And when we get back together soon, I want to double click into this technology stacks. Let's put some meat on those bones. And uh, thank you very much for your time, folks. The URL is down below in the blog. Give them a fair shake. Joe, please keep it safe. Wash your hands. Harry, thank you. I appreciate it. Stay safe, stay distant.